Marcus Conti reporting one less shit sandwich in the Democratic uh, race for the presidency of the United States. Getting those shit sandwiches out of the way. Beto, Beto, Beto O'Rourke has dropped out. Beto O'Rourke, the good senator or whatever the hell he is, the guy from fucking I don't know where, <laughs> Texas, has finally dropped out. Listen, if you don't stand for anything, eventually eventually you don't stand for anything and nobody wants to get behind you. Right? So, <clears throat> so here's Beto O'Rourke. Uh, our campaign has always been about seeing clearly, honest, speaking honestly and acting decisively. In that spirit, I am announcing that my service to the country will not be as a candidate or as the nominee. Wow, Beto O'Rourke. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Damn. He was like he had the voice. He had the height. He looked like a white white Obama. He sounded like a white Obama, right? He's got that – he had that deep voice, man. That guy can make a fucking – you tell me, man, if I had that kind of voice, if I had that deep voice like this – I'd be far more arrogant than I already am. Uh, had a great, it's got a great voice, man. Fucking Beto, man. You could, you, you'll do, you'll do okay. I think what killed him really was the uh, his gun comment. I'm gonna take away. I'm gonna take away your R, A R fourteen. I'm gonna take away your gun. I was telling Texas people that <laughs> the Democrat. You didn't stand for anything. Medicare for all, you dumb dumbs. They're all gonna start dropping like flies, right? They're all. The progressive, this is a Democratic progressive year. It's going to be Sanders or Warren, right? They, they have no choice, right? They keep pushing shit sandwich Joe Biden, and it's, uh, it's pretty much over for them. So anyway, let's read, let's read, uh, or maybe not. Maybe they just, again, they, they'd rather lose and, you know, get Trump in there. But, uh, thank you. So this is his letter. Our campaign has always been about seeing clearly, speaking honestly, and acting decisively in the best interest of America. Though it is a diff- though it is difficult to accept, it is clear to me now that this campaign does not have the means, the money, to move forward successfully. My service to the country will not be as a candidate or as the nominee. Acknowledging this now is in the best interest of those in the in the campaign. It is in the best interest of this party as we seek to unify around the nominee. And it is in the best interest of the country. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, but uh, you know, the cheating, man. So here's the latest polls, latest fake polls. 2020 Democratic presidential nominee ha- Harvard Harris still has Biden 33%. How the fuck is Joe Biden? It's just ridiculous. Elizabeth Warren, 15%, and Sanders, 18 Buttigieg, 4%. Uh, and in, in that poll, that'll be the last poll, the last time we see O'Rourke, he was at 2%, Booker, 3 Gabbard, 0 no, That's bullshit. Uh, so November 1st, that was uh, today. That's today's poll, ha- uh, Harvard-Harris. Um, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, Elizabeth Warren, 22 Buttigieg, 18 <laughs> in Iowa, <laughs> Biden seventeen, Sanders nineteen. Uh, so they got in the in yesterday's poll, they've got Warren first, Sanders second, Buttigieg third, Biden fourth. Uh, day before that, on Halloween, Pennsylvania Democratic primary, Biden thirty, Warren eighteen. Sanders. This is bullshit, bullshit poll. So goodbye, Beto O'Rourke. To didn't want to kill you. I'm never going to remember your name after tomorrow. We're, we're going to forget his name, right? Uh, just because you were here and you were hearing this, at this time you're, you're, you're politically active and aware, you will remember Beto O'Rourke, Beto O'Rourke, and watch his name fade into the woodwork. Fade away. He's fading. Poor Beto. Baby Beto. Baby Beto, bye-bye. Marcus Conte, reporting.